Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Queen Elizabeth II died in September at Balmoral Castle, leaving King Charles III to accede to the throne. A touching letter from Her Majesty to her grandson Prince William has resurfaced. The handwritten letter read, William, I hope you enjoy opening this each day, Granny, in reference to an advent calendar. Royal fans gushed over the touching note from 25 years ago. Twitter user at Love Family Wales said, Aw, I have never seen this. They had such a lovely relationship. A second user at Balsimar said, Aw, how lovely. Beautiful, precious memory to treasure. According to the Daily Mail, the note was auctioned off by RR Auction in Boston back in 2016 after it was sold to the company by a former employee of Princess Diana. We all know how much our beloved Queen loved Prince William, Kate Middleton, and Cambridge Children's, but does it mean things are changed in the line of succession? Well, it is not King Charles will still be our king, but if we talk about his first-born child, Prince William, then common, we all know he's been famous since day one, a tabloid staple as the first-born child of Prince Charles and the glamorous young Princess Diana. And indeed, many royal watchers and historians look to the prince and his wife as the real future of the British monarchy, thanks in part to the family's own careful image construction around the pair, casting them as a symbol of the next generation. This is a very transitional monarchy. Ariane Chernock, a professor of history at Boston University and an expert on the modern British monarchy, said of the new reign of King Charles III, who was 73. I think we're going to have to wait honestly until William and Kate, until we see more significant updating. But always, of course, also attuned to and mindful of tradition. Laura Clancy, a lecturer at Lancaster University and the author of the book Running the Family Firm, How the Monarchy Manages Its Image and Our Money, said there had been a clear effort by the palace to put forth the image of William and Kate as relatable with a focus on their family life. I think you get an image that is more intimate, probably, than what Charles offers, Dr. Clancy said. That kind of staging of that very nuclear family, you can still see that with Kate and the children and him as this hands-on dad. In one online survey from the British polling company YouGov also, William ranked as the third most popular royal, with a 66% approval rating. He trailed only the Queen, who had 75% popularity before her death, and his wife Kate with 68%. Charles rated 7th with 42%. William and Kate's popularity comes as a package deal driven in part by a carefully curated social media presence that seems to offer a behind-the-scenes look at their life. On their highly choreographed joint Instagram account, many of the photos focus on their family life, some of them taken by Kate, who is interested in photography. Many experts say William is unlikely to fundamentally shift the monarchy when his time on the throne comes. One thing the royals are really good at is always changing, so that they can stay the same, so they can maintain what they've got, Dr. Clancy said. I think William is the next generation of that. Inheriting his father's titles, the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cornwall, isn't just symbolic. It will also mean inheriting the Duchy of Cornwall, which Charles turned into a lucrative business empire worth an estimated £1 billion, or $1.17 billion. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.